and welcome back to day two of this project. It's another beautiful summer. It's a nice cool June day underneath my crab apple tree. I actually filmed the first portion of this video a couple days ago. I just had such a busy week and I haven't been able to get around to painting my little sun ornaments here. So today we're gonna paint them. I'm thinking lots of yellows and fiery oranges and reds and a lot of colors for that litha sun energy. I'm just using some acrylic paints. You get these at any craft store, any Hobby Lobby, and I'm also going to glaze them with some Mod Podge glue to give them like a nice little sheen. And this goes on white, but it dries clear, so don't worry about that. I love this stuff. I swear by it. I use this in about every craft project you can think of. And then I'm going to finish off once I put the glue over it with some fine pink glitter. Now they make glitters in different colors, but I really like using the pink glitter because it dries a little more clear and you can see the color underneath a lot better. It's not matte and it doesn't really cover with the color that the glitter is. So we're going to get started on our little dough dials here. Love Mr. Sun. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to dip it in the yellow paint like this and we're just going to generously swish this around and cover the whole thing in yellow. That's going to be our base color. It's going to be so nice. I'm super excited about these little suns. So, let's talk about Litha. So I'm really excited. This is going to be my first time celebrating Litha. I celebrated Lamas Lunasa last year, which was one of the Sabbaths that I actually consciously celebrated. I went to a lavender farm. You can see that video right over here if you're interested in that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do this year for Lunasa, but Litha and for the strawberry moon, actually this weekend, there's a strawberry festival where we could go pick our own strawberries and I really want to make my own strawberry wine for Litha. Make sure all my edges are covered. Tough to spread around, you can use a little bit of water on your brush. Alright, so here we have Mr. Sun. He's painted yellow. Now we're going to rinse off our brush. So now I have some orange paint and acro crimson paint. I'm going to use the orange paint around these little swirlies, which I think will look really pretty. And I'm going to use the red for the cheeks and probably lips and then burnt umber which I'm going to use in the details probably in the crevices like the shadows and the nose and stuff. Here we go. So we're just going to do this while this is like kind of still wet. I feel like these things always come out a lot better in my head. When I try to do it, like for real, it looks like a five-year-old does it. <laughs> but it's still the creative process and I still enjoy it nonetheless. Find your own ways to celebrate. If you can't do some fancy ritual because you live by a lot of people who might think you're fucking weird, then paint something for the season or for the Sabbath or bake something. Just put your energy into something Something good. All right, so basically here's my little sun guy and he looks really angry, but I think it's cause he's so hot. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get some white and then I'm gonna detail the eyeballs. And then once that's done, I'm going to shellac it with glue and then I'm gonna put some glitter on it and let's call it a day. And also, I'm going to start painting my little ones, and uh, we're going to hang these as ornaments. This one's just going to go flat on my altar. Um, I got some white paint for the eye area, and I think I want to make the sun's eyes blue, because blue is associated with the heavenly realm, and celestial, and I, I always picture suns and moons with blue eyes. So 
so I am getting super bit, you guys, under this tree. So I just want to do a little shameless plug. This isn't a self plug. This is a doTERRA plug. I mean, this is a personal well-being plug. So if you don't want to get bit this summer and um, you want a more natural approach and you don't want to put on those harsh chemicals like off and deep, and I can't wear any of those bug sprays because I get, I break out in hives. So I have to wear natural. And even Skin So Soft, I think, has mineral oil in it, which isn't too good for your skin either. So I use, I've been using the uh, doTERRA Terra Shield, and I used it all last summer, and you guys, it works wonders. So I'm going to put some on my feet right now, because my feet are getting big. Ugh. And it has a little bit of a vanilla woodsy smell. I mean, even the bottom of my feet are getting bit, oddly. So... I that we got that covered. Okay, so I'm gonna let this one dry a little bit and then I'm going to start painting these little ornaments. And then by the time I'm done painting these ornaments, then this should be ready to put the glaze over and then we're gonna glitter it. I also have these really cool glitter pens um, that I'm gonna go into them with fine detail after I do the first layer of the clear glitter. And then I'm gonna go back into them with more detail with these. I don't know about you, but I think everything's better with glitter. Okay, so here's one that I kind of did like a sun washed kind of effect on and I'm going to show you how to do that. First you're going to want to paint a base color underneath. Then you're going to want to dip your brush in a little bit of your darker orange and then you're going to put a little bit of water on it. Now you're just going to wash the outsides. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to go back in with your lighter color and you're going to want to blend these two together to form a kind of gradient and then you can go back over it as many times as you like to get it to look really blended and then it creates that kind of sun washed effect. that is 
So I just took some of this glitter glue pen and I put it around some of the swirlies on my sun. I'm going to also take the red pen now and I'm going to go in through all these little slits in between the swirlies. And if this doesn't get you in the mood for Litha, I don't know what will. So now I'm going to take my decorative ribbon and start stringing them through my ornaments. I use the back end of a small paintbrush to poke through the holes that weren't completely pierced through. Pull your ribbon through and then secure the knot on the end. Hey guys, so I'm all finished painting my little sundials diffuser, oil diffuser thingies. <laughs> um, I painted them, I put my glitter on them, I put my ribbon on them, and now they're all set to be hung up. Um, you wouldn't want to leave these outside for too long. Um, I don't think they're rainproof, it's just flour and salt and paint. So I'm pretty sure it'd make a gooby mess if you left these outside. So definitely keep these inside, maybe near a vent that um, if you have put essential oils on them, it can permeate the scent throughout the room. So it'd be a really good idea to put them near a vent or some kind of air that blows all the scent into your space. But just for the sake of the video, I want to hang these on this bush right here just to show you how pretty they look. Yeah, let's hang some of these up, shall we? So it's a little bit later in the day and I had to run to work so I didn't get to um, close this video the way that I wanted to. So um, I wanted to close out this video by just showing you how my little son turned out and I think he turned out really cool. I mean he's got a lot of glitter on him and I plan to put him on my little ultra space for Litha. I think he looks badass, so feel free if you are so inclined to try out this project for Litha. It's a great way to get you in the spirit, in the mood for midsummer and the solstice, just all the magic that is to come with Mr. Sun. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. I hope to see you for some more Litha videos coming up. I have a lot planned. It's just a matter of whether I can get it all done in time for the midsummer solstice. So that's it. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, check me out on my Instagram page at Bohemian Magic Studios and also on my official website bohemianmagicstudios.com for more tips and tricks on how to live a magical life. So thank you guys so much. I'm Justina and I hope to see you back on my channel again here soon. Bye. Would you like to see more craft projects like this for the Sabbaths? 
Let me know in the comments below what kinds of things you'd like to see me do on my channel and I'll be sure to make a note of it. Also, if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment, rate, and subscribe to get more magical videos just like this one delivered right to your inbox. If you want to see more Wheel of the Year videos right now, check out this playlist full of more Savit Craft Projects, creative altars, and informative videos. I hope to see you back real soon!